So what we have here in this question is a crate of mass m equal to 100 kilogram that is being pushed at a constant speed up a frictionless ramp that has an angle theta equal to 30 degrees by a horizontal force F. And the questions are, what are the magnitudes of F and B, the force on the crate from the ramp? So for part A, we start with the information given in the question that the crate moves at a constant speed, implying an acceleration A equal to zero meters per second square. Because if there is no change in speed, there is no acceleration. So what we do is first resolve the force F into its components. One along the incline, that is F cos theta, and one perpendicular to it, F sin theta. Next, we do the familiar thing of resolving mg into its respective components along the plane and perpendicular to the plane. So this becomes mg cos theta and this is mg sin theta. So now we have all the forces acting on the block along the plane and perpendicular to it. As a next step, we will apply Newton's second law along the incline, keeping in mind this as a sine notation. Then what we get is F cos theta minus mg sine theta should equal m into zero or F cos 30 minus 100 into 9.8 into sine 30 is equal to zero. And when we solve for F, what we get is F is equal to 566 newtons. For part B, we need to find the normal force Fn, which is the support force from incline on the crate. Remember, the normal force always acts perpendicular to the surface to which the object is in contact with. Now, since there is no acceleration perpendicular to the incline, Newton's second law in the perpendicular direction gives us Fn or the normal force minus F sine theta minus mg cos theta is equal to zero. So you can see I have taken Fn as positive as it is acting in the positive y direction and these two forces as negative as they are acting in the negative y direction. Then if we substitute the values, we get Fn minus 566, which has been calculated earlier, times sine 30 minus 100 into 9.8 times cos 30 is equal to zero or the normal force Fn is equal to 100 into 9.8 times cos 30 plus 566 times sine 30. And that gives us Fn or the normal force as 1133 newtons. The key takeaway from this problem is that we first need to resolve all forces in the xx and yy plane, then use Newton's second law of motion to find net force along each plane and then equate it with the product of mass and acceleration in the respective plane, keeping the sine notation in mind.